Zany friends and welcome to another book review video. Today I am reviewing Sadie by Courtney Summers. So the thing I need to tell you about Sadie is a couple different things you may have already seen but um, Marshall also posted a review about Sadie and he and I both listened to this on audiobook because it's part of our book club's reads for this month. And that kind of gave us an idea that in the future we might both read or listen to a book together and do a joint review. But it was really interesting listening to his review versus um, what I'm going to tell you about about the review but I think um, you if you want to watch that um, it is in our list and I will try to link it down below so that you can see that review as well that he did but um, Sadie let me tell you about the summary first and then we'll go ahead and talk about it a missing girl on a journey of revenge a serial like podcast following the clues she's left behind and an editing you won't be able to stop talking about Sadie hasn't had an easy life. Growing up on her own, she's been raising her sister Maddie in an isolated small town, trying her best to provide a normal life and keep their heads above water. But when Maddie is found dead, Sadie's entire world crumbles. After a somewhat botched police investigation, Sadie is determined to bring her sister's killer to justice and hits the road following a few meager clues to find him. When West McRae, a radio personality working on a segment about small forgotten towns in America, overhears Sadie's story at a local gas station, he becomes obsessed with finding the missing girl. He starts his own podcast as he tracks Sadie's journey, trying to figure out what happened, hoping to find her before it's too late. Courtney Summers has written the breakout book of her career. Sadie is propulsive and harrowing and keeps riveted into the last page. So first off, let's talk about the world in which this book lives. If you have ever listened to the Serial podcast, and I've listened to, I want to say three, three seasons, like all the seasons that's been out, I've listened to it. You'll know that there is a certain cadence to it, how they edit it together. There's music, you know, there's like a teaser and then, then like a musical interlude and then they start in on, on the actual story for that episode. If you listen to the audiobook, this is exactly what happens in the audiobook. So you have some chapters that say, that are from Sadie herself, and you have some chapters which are from uh, this guy who's doing the podcast. And it took me back to podcasts like Serial and um, the others, another one too that's kind of like it as well. It really took me back to that, and I believe the audiobook made made the experience so much more enjoyable listening to it. There are things that happen in this book that are not pleasant. This is definitely a mystery because you really want to know what happened to Sadie and you want to know what happened to Maddie. But when it tells you that you won't be able to stop talking about the ending, uh, I think that is true. A lot of the people that I know who have read this are very disappointed in the ending, actually. I was not because I think in, in listening to Serial and being a fan of Serial, there are, you know, things that happen in life. Um, and I don't even know how to say this without totally giving the ending away. You do kind of find out things that happen along the way in different viewpoints, right? So you see uh, where Sadie is from her point of view. And then immediately after it, you find the guy with the podcast basically following her and picking up the pieces from what she's just talked about. Will this book leave you with questions? I'm gonna have to say yes. <laughs> but I'm not going to give the ending away at all. I was actually very okay with the ending and the way that it ended. But I will say there is a very slight possibility that you will read this book and be like, what the heck, man? <laughs> you know, and I, I can't I can't tell you why, obviously, because I'm not going to give you spoilers about about it. But the more I sat there and thought about it, the more I was like, you know what? Sometimes it's real life. And I think that this book is definitely addressing some of these really tough things. I mean, that happen in life. Like this book could happen, like it does happen. 
how the how the how the things I don't even know I can't even talk about like specifically but the the things that happen in this book are things that happen to people in their life all the time and I think it was so important that this book be written and addressed like this because the impact of it is it's so important <laughs> it's it's just so important I feel like how we need to pay attention to the people in our lives, the youth in our lives, and how we have a responsibility maybe as adults to really provide a better place for them to be, a safe place for them to be. So that's basically my haphazard, um, way of talking about this book without really not giving anything away but I'm giving it five stars because I thought it was I thought it was just so well done if you actually read the book um comment down below and let me know if you feel like maybe the book had a different experience than actually listening to the audiobook did because I would be very interested to know that um but I would really like to have a discussion with you down below so please uh let me know what you thought and uh, thank you so much for hanging with me. I know this was kind of a weird one, um, but until next time, stay zany.